all along we've discussed the concept of customer centric marketing it is about creating value for the customer it is about trying to understand what are the benefits the customer is looking for and then delivering on those benefits but one of the things we should not forget is that for us to be able to deliver benefits to the customers we should also be sustainable we should also be viable we should also make sure that we are also making money in the process right so when we talk about customer centric marketing it is about kind of balancing the value equation is about making sure that you deliver value to the customer and at the same time you should be asking yourself is how do i create value from the customer or how do i get value off the customer by delivering value to the customer now let's break it down again when we talk about value to the customer we've talked about the fact that the customer has different kind of needs and fulfilling the needs of the customers with your product and service is going to deliver benefits that the customer is looking for now of course when the customer is getting those benefits now the customer has to have a trade off where they have to pay a particular price to get those benefits so if you go back and try and take a look at the value of the customer equation and that is usually referred to as value is equal to the benefits that the customer is looking for divided by the price that the customer has to pay to get that particular value now of course there are two ways by which a customer is going to try and increase their value the most obvious one is by trying to lower your price right now it is your job as the marketing person or as a sales person to try and focus on the benefits to the customers now why is it important because if you do not take care and you lower your price you are not necessarily capturing the right value that you've delivered to the customer so we should make sure that when we are delivering value for the customer we should not lose track of how we should be creating value for ourselves so again every time the customer pays a particular price and if the customer is paying the right price then you are capturing the value that you have delivered to the customer now of course in order for that if when the customer in order for them to pay for it they have to get certain benefits every benefit that you deliver to the customer be it by making sure that you have the right kind of product by making sure that you have the right kind of service or you're making it available at a convenience channel for the customer or you spend a lot of money communicating to the customer all of this is referred to as a cost to serve the customer so while price is where the customer pays a particular price for the benefit it also refers to where you can capture the value of the customer because when the customer pays the right price it has an impact on your profitability but what we also have to make sure is to make sure that the customer is paying the right price for the benefits that they're getting we should take a look at all the benefits that we are delivering and ask ourselves in order for us to deliver those benefits what is our cost to serve that particular customer every product that you make is a cost to you every service that you provide is a cost to you every convenience channel you provide to the customer is a cost to you so from that viewpoint you need to ask yourself how do i capture the value from the customer and how do i make sure that that value that i'm capturing kind of matches with the kind of cost to serve that i am spending on that customer so when you take a look at the value of the customer you will see that there are four quadrants and the four quadrants would begin with low price where the customer is not paying a high price so you're not capturing very high value at the same time the cost to serve is low whereas the customer is not very demanding so that is a quadrant where you should be very careful and we normally refer to it as the hole right if you're not careful you may start leaking money and you may start bleeding money as well where you absolutely do not want to be is where the customer is not paying a good price and your cost to serve is very very high so under those kind of situations i call it heck or hell where that's a situation where you do not want to be in where the customer is not paying the right amount of money or you're not capturing the right value and the customer is getting a lot more benefits than what they're paying for now as a customer centric organization you should try and avoid what i call is the hell hole what we should be striving for is where the customer is paying the right price so that you're able to capture the value and your cost to serve is also high which means that the customer 
feels that you're working hard to fulfill the needs of their requirements. And consequently, there's a good match between what the customer is paying for, how much effort you're spending on that customer, and that's the perfect match, which is what I call as a heaven. Now, some of you might be in a wonderful situation where your cost to serve is low, where you don't have to spend a lot of money to fulfill the needs of the customers, but the customer is willing to pay a premium. Typically, this happens when you're the first mover in the market or when you're a monopoly or when you're protected by intellectual property so that there's not too many competitors and when it's not too many competitors, you can actually charge a premium. And this is normally what I refer to as a honeymoon, not does not last a long. So essentially, what we need to be looking at is when we're looking at value in a customer-centric marketing approach, it is about value for yourself as well as value for the customer.